Hello friends, this video on Redox Reaction Part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The objective of this lesson is to identify the redox reactions as a class of reaction in which oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously. We'll talk about oxidation and reduction. We'll also define the term oxidation, reduction, oxidant, reductant. We'll explain the mechanism for redox reaction in terms of electron transfer process. We'll also use the concept of oxidation number to identify oxidant or reductant in the reaction. We'll classify a redox reaction into combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction and disproportionate reactions. We'll find the comparative orders among various reactant, reductant and oxidant who is most uh, powerful and we'll learn how to balance the chemical reaction using oxidation number and half reaction methods. We'll also learn the concepts of redox reaction in terms of electrode processes. So the first question that comes to our mind is what is redox reaction? We must have heard of this term oxidation and reduction and it is scientifically proven that whenever there is an oxidation, there is a reduction. What is oxidation? What is reduction? We will cover these things in the next few slides. And redox reaction, if I compare with the day to day life, is nothing but a person giving this person A and this is person B, person B giving money to person A. So in this case, person B is losing money, right? So let's suppose he is giving 1 rupee or 10 rupee. So the person B is losing money and the person A is gaining money, right? So same thing in a chemical reaction, if one element lose electron or one element gain electron, I mean, if there's a reaction, the net energy, the net mass is conserved. So if one element is losing electron, the another element has to gain electron, right? Or someone has to gain electron. So we define the terms oxidation and reduction based on the electrons uh, lost or gain. Anyway, we'll, we'll go through a, a history of oxidation and reduction, but this slide is just to show that oxidation and reduction, uh, when redox reaction is nothing but where we have both oxidation and reduction. And oxidation and reduction, in a real life, if you want to compare that, it is nothing but um, element A or person A or person B, where person B is giving money to person A. So person B is losing money and person A is gaining money. The next question comes to our mind is why to study redox reaction? In that, though formally I have not defined the redox reaction completely, but you must have got some idea of reaction where we have both oxidation and reduction called redox reaction. So the question is why study redox reaction? So if you see, if you talk about the metallurgy, the whole science of metallurgy where you uh, create uh, uh, or extract uh, elements or metals out of ores in that redox reaction is involved. If you talk about the purification of metal, uh, there also uh, purification of metals like copper, aluminium, there also the redox reaction plays a critical role. If you see the creation of soap or most of the stands which we use, it happens through redox reaction. If you see the working of battery, it works because of the redox reaction because there's a chemical reaction happens and uh, that is mostly the redox reaction. If you see the, uh, the process of creating medicines and all that involves redox reaction. If you see uh, the trees, right, the whole photosynthesis process, this is nothing but a redox reaction. So if you see the car, the burning of fuel is also a redox reaction. If you see a lot of stuff around us depicts redox reaction. So having said that, since we have a huge implication of or implementation of redox reaction in our day to day life, it is good that we understand what is redox reaction. So let's start with the definition of oxidation, the history of uh, uh, the definition of oxidation. As I told, redox reaction is something where you have both oxidation and reduction taking place, right? This is what I told you just now. 
So what is oxidation? Let's understand the uh, first understand the history of oxidation. So scientists in the early area, oxygen is plenty in the universe, right? So we have a lot of oxygen, we breathe oxygen. So anything you burn, that means oxygen. So magnesium, for example, they used to, uh, the scientists burn it called NGO, carbon they burn they called CO2. So they thought they, they gave the definition of oxidation as nothing but addition of oxygen to anything. This is please note this is history. This is not the current definition, this is the old definition, maybe in the 80s or 1800 to 1700. It's a very old definition. I don't know the actual time, it's a very old definition. Scientists thought, chemists thought that oxidation is nothing but addition of oxygen. That's why if you see the oxy word came, right? So if you add oxygen to something, you get oxidation. That time the reduction word word was not even coined. And then they observe pretty more a lot of other experiments, uh, what do you call reaction because uh, chemistry as a science grew and uh, chemists got opportunity to understand more and more reactions. For example, if you see uh, CH4 uh, methane reacts with oxygen to get uh, CO2. Also, if you see S2S reacts with oxygen to get sulfur. So with, with these, they found that oxidation can also be addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen. Why? Because in this reaction, if you see from H to S, they have removed hydrogen. This guy has hydrogen is removed, right? This becomes S itself. And this is also oxidation if you see, right? So they expanded the definition. So earlier they told oxidation is nothing but addition of oxygen. And then they told with more uh, with more um, reactions, right? The understanding more reactions. So what they told that uh, oxidation is nothing but addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen. So this thing was added because they wanted to incorporate this kind of reactions also. So then the popular definition became for oxidation. You have oxidation means addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen. Then again, scientists analyze more and more equation. For example, this equation magnesium when reacted with uh, fluorine it got it gave mgf2 now they had the doubt whether this is oxidation reduction what should we do the current definition says only addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen so according to this definition we are not able to define this particular reaction correct because in this equation uh, neither oxygen is involved or not hydrogen is involved so but if you see oxygen is what electro negative element and hydrogen is what generally H plus electro positive element correct so oxygen is my electro negative element and hydrogen is electro positive element so what they did they have increased the scope so they told that instead of addition of oxygen itself they told addition of any electro negative element and removal of our capital I mean yeah, removal of hydrogen instead of hydrogen, they told any electro positive element, you see, like this. So they have increased the definition or they have uh, increased the domain of uh, oxidation. They told that instead of addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen, oxygen is, is electro negative element. So addition of any electro negative element, hydrogen was electro positive element. They told removal of any electro positive. So the new definition that became popular. In fact, we have better definition now for oxidation is that you oxidation is the process of removal of electropositive elements like hydrogen, sodium, sulfur like that or addition of electronegative element like oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, correct? Then they have more def experiment, for example, sodium reacts with sulfur, give Na2S. Now in this case, if you see, they also observed that in this case, sodium was zero power and this becomes Na2S, that is this is plus one power. So if you see, in this case, sodium becomes sodium plus and it lost one electron. So the new definition became oxidation is nothing but loss of electron, correct? So if you see in this case, sodium NaS solid becomes Na plus, okay. This is Na plus. Let me get two both sides because this equation has Na two here, right? 
right? Two N A plus. So if you see in this case, sodium becomes sodium plus by losing one electron. So the new definition became oxidation is nothing but loss of electron, and the reduction is nothing but gain of electron. Reduction is nothing but the opposite of this. So I'm just covering the oxidation now. So I'm just focusing on oxidation part. Correct. So the new definition became oxidation of loss of electron because they studied lot and lot of a uh, lot of other experiment uh, ex equations reactions and they found that this is more appropriate definition for oxidation. The new definition came after this. That is oxidation is nothing but increase of oxidation number. So we will define what is oxidation number so that your concept will be clear in the next few slides. What is oxidation number? Right and. After that, the latest definition says that oxidation is nothing but decrease in electron density. This is the latest definition, but we will stick to more of these two definitions. These two definitions, right? Either loss of electron or increase of oxidation number. It's, it means all the same, but this is more popular. So, increase of oxidation number is something which will stick to. But these were there. These were all hist historical actually, but. Yeah, it is good to understand how the definition of oxidation got evolved from addition of oxygen to addition of oxygen and removal of hydrogen to addition of electronegative element, removal of electropositive element to loss of electrons to increase of oxidation number to decrease in electron density. So the definition evolved. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.